Hello Year 7. In these unusual times when we can't come together in the chapel or at church or even as friends, it seemed to us in Year 7 a virtual assembly would be the next best thing. A time to hear familiar voices, pray together and take hope from the messages given. I must thank Mr Barber who has taken the seed of an idea and run with it to produce a video assembly of better quality than I've seen recently on BBC News where people are out recording their own reports. Please watch, listen and join in as we bring together the Year 7 Ursuline community in a virtual way to help us stay focused, healthy and in touch. We come together today for our assembly in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are living in strange times. And it would be very easy for us to focus on the negative. But during this assembly, we're going to think about what brings us together and what makes us different. Some of the things that can bring us together are looking after the people we live with. We may like spending time with our friends online. We might go to a streamed service with our family. Being part of our Ursuline family, that can bring us together. And showing people, the people who look after us, our appreciation, that will always bring us together. Stanotte conquistiamo un diritto fondamentale che non ci sarà tolto, il diritto alla speranza. È una speranza nuova, viva, che viene da Dio. Avevano negli occhi il dramma della sofferenza, di una tragedia in attesa accaduta troppo in fretta. Avevano visto la morte e avevano la morte nel cuore. Al dolore si accompagnava la paura. Avrebbero fatto anche loro la stessa fine del Maestro? E poi i timori per il futuro tutto da ricostruire, la memoria ferita, la speranza soffocata. Per loro era l'ora più buia come per noi. Stanotte Conquistiamo un diritto fondamentale che non ci sarà tolto, il diritto alla speranza. È una speranza nuova, viva, che viene da Dio. Hold that and consider Sierra Leone in the west of Africa, a country that should be rich as it has good mineral reserves, but is in fact very poor because of years of exploitation. A country about the tenth of the size of UK in terms of population, about 7.8 million people. When the coronavirus pandemic began, there was one ventilator in the whole of Sierra Leone. So we're 10 times their population, that would be like us having had 10 
ventilators at the start of the pandemic. We've got 11,500 and we think that we need 30,000. Now, four weeks into the pandemic, Sierra Leone has 15 ventilators. Dear friends, the death rate in Africa, Asia and Latin America will be on a scale that we can scarcely imagine. The projections from CAFOD and the World Health Organization range at the moment anywhere from 20 million to 40 million people dying once the virus takes hold. Because even if they had the ventilators, they wouldn't have the hospitals, the healthcare systems, the electricity or the oxygen to run. In January, Orla from our team here went with CAFODs to Cambodia. There was a school there that was full of joy. Why? Because for the first time they had one indoor toilet for their pupils. Can you imagine that? In an area where young children could be attacked by wild animals or bitten by snakes or scorpions, what a relief it was for the toilet to be indoors. Consider what it means then to be asked to wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and hot water when one village shares a tap between 100 people and more, where the water is simply the temperature at which it arrives from the ground. Soap is a virtually unheard of luxury and the toilet, also shared by many people, is a hole Let in the ground. Try. We remember the members of our Ursuline family, the students, the staff, the Ursuline nuns and the past students. Lord, keep them safe. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the whole church. May we be a shining light to the world. Lord, in your mercy. We remember our brothers and sisters in the developing world. Let us never leave their side in their time of need. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those who are sick. May they know your healing power. Lord, in your mercy. We remember those who have died. May their souls and the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace. Lord, in your mercy. We thank you, Father, for the people that keep us safe. They are your hands on the earth. Lord, in your mercy. I challenge you today to do at least three selfless acts, doing your bit to bring God's kingdom to our troubled world. Also, remember to email your tutor. They really miss you. And we're finished today with Miss Bailey's hymn request. We hope to see you soon. God bless. <laughs>
name is Jesus. At the name of Jesus, we shall be. Jesus is the Lord, and He will come again. At the name of Jesus, we shall be. Jesus is the Lord. Came that we might have life. He came that we might.